we had lunch yesterday with these guys and it, you know it's like senior day and then all of a sudden pro day and it's like these two last days that last game they get to play at home and obviously that bowl game there's those goodbyes and, and this truly is that last time that you really get to watch these guys compete the last time they get to come in the indoor they wear that pit gear they'll all have a different logo uh, on their shirts the next time we get to see them um, or they'll be in the real world one or the other uh, with a real job but uh, I think our kids showed out real well today we had a lot of teams represented here I think 30 or 29 or 30 teams here uh, representing the NFL and, and uh, kids did a nice job. Questions? What does it mean to your program to have players have success at the next level? It means everything. I, mean, I think that's, you know, I think when you look at, you know, the recruiting aspect, people want to see what's going on in pro day. They want to see if you have guys going on. Again, I don't care if it's guys going on in the NFL drafted or guys that are free agents. They want to see guys have success at the next level. And, uh, you know, it's no different than a, a high school kid on scholarship or a high school kid that's a walk-on, like a George Aston or a Sean Ido that comes in now, has a chance to now maybe be a free agent or be a, you know, a drafted player in the NFL. So I think it's all the same, but, um, you know, it's awful important to have guys that are playing at the next level. Darren didn't get to go to the combine, but he finally got to show, and show off today. I mean, how do you think he did? I think Darren Hall had a great day. Um, and I think he should have been a guy at the combine. I don't make those decisions, but uh, there's a few guys I think should have been at the combine. But uh, Darren Hall is, is a, an exceptional back. He's got great ball skills. He can run. Um, you know, and there's some scouts out here today thought he was a faster back. So it's you know, it's you know, what are you looking for? So I think he's a he's a guy that's gonna you know have fun in April. I was gonna say that after a season when you you know win the coastal and play in the ACC championship game and physically beat up some teams the way you did, are you surprised you didn't get more guys invited out to Indy? No, it's a blue collar Pittsburgh. Blue collar Pittsburgh, I guess. I mean, um, you know, I think it's a it's a it's a statement about where we are and what we do and how we do here in Pittsburgh. Uh, you know, it's uh, it's one thing to you know to have some guys drafted. I've seen a lot of guys that you know maybe aren't championship game. We've got a lot of guys at the combine. We're one of those teams that doesn't have many guys, and we you know it's the same thing happening for the last place I was at for a while. Uh, never had many guys at the combine, but just won a lot of football games with some guys. So you know, we're going to develop our guys when they come out of high school. We're going to hopefully get them to that next level one way or another, whether it's a free agent or draft. How instrumental was it for this senior class to help you build your team and your culture? Um, you know, every every player that's ever walked in the door or walked out the door is important. It doesn't matter if it was for one year or four years. Um, and again, we've had the one in four season guys. So. Uh, it's important for every guy to come in here to help change our culture. And every one of these guys had a, you know, a bigger uh, piece of that compared to last year and, and the year before that. But uh, these, these guys have put in a lot of work. And, and you know, like I said, we've broke down a lot of times on ACC champions out here. And uh, we haven't gotten that yet. But you know, we got there this year, and it's because of these senior classes.